Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to plug in your cables to your new PC, to your motherboard, GPU components within a few minutes so that way you can have your new PC up and running in no time. So let's get right into it. So the first thing to do is actually plug in everything into our motherboard. Now, before we get into that though, I wanna give you guys one tip. Make sure to have your motherboard manual on hand. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when you watch this video here today, you'll be able to follow the steps to figure out how to plug in everything. However, if you have a different motherboard than mine, you might need to locate which plugs go where, and that way you can identify them to follow along with the video. So to make sure to have that on hand. But for right now though, let's get into it. The first thing we wanna do with our motherboard is actually plug in our CPU fan. Now you can see I have the Race Stealth Cooler. Now sometimes your CPU fan will actually have more than one cable. It might have just a power cable for the fan, which is the one here, this is the CPU fan. We want to plug it into our CPU fan header here on the top, which you can see right there. What you're going to do is take the actual tooth, which you can see this is a tooth of the actual fan header, and match it up with the tooth on the actual board, so that way it lines up and just bites. With that though, our actual CPU fan is perfectly powered up and ready to go. Now if you do actually have a RGB connector, you might want to connect it to the LED2 or onto one of your LED spots on your motherboard so we can actually power the RGB on it. The next thing we need to do is plug in our HD audio header. So this one's really straightforward. What I want to do is, is run it from the bottom side here, which you can see there's a little hole here and run into the HD audio, which is actually this port right here, which says, what is it? F audio, which is pretty easy to identify. And that way we can just plug that on in. So let's run that real quick. So we're just going to take a HD audio, plug it into the F audio slot on here on the board. Now make sure you're just going to make sure it's lined up properly. You just want to push that in with pressure. With that though, our HD audio is set up. Next up is our USB 3 header. So this will power all of our USB 3 ports on actual PC case, because this is actually all the PC cables that come with the case. And that's the most important thing to make sure that these plug in. And what we're gonna do is just gonna run this onto our slot in the middle, because most times around, you'll actually you see a USB 3 actual plug right there. You can see like where it plugs in and it'll have to line up. There is a tooth though on the top side, so you need to make sure to have the tooth line up there. So you can see there's a tooth on top of the USB 3 header, and we make sure to have this tooth always point towards the top of actually the board. What we're gonna do is just push this on in here, and make sure it's lined up. When you do that, you can just wiggle it on in into our motherboard. And with that, our USB 3 header is installed. The next thing we need to plug in is our USB header. So this actual USB header is for our USB port on top here. This is not the USB 3 one, but we wanna make sure that this plugged into our motherboard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it for the same spot we did the USB 3 header, but this time, instead of plugging it actually where the USB 3 header is, we're gonna plug it where it says F USB 1, which you can see right there if my camera wants to focus. That's where we wanna plug it into. So what we wanna do is make sure they have the USB header pointed from the top where the logo is towards us. And we're just gonna plug that into the F USB audio, or not audio, on the F USB header, if it ever lets me just like speak my words. And you just wanna push that on in there. With that, our USB uh, is actually plugged in for our actual header. Next up, we got our RGB headers. Now, if you have an ARGB header or LED header or anything you're gonna use to actually power RGB fans or your RGB uh, CPU cooler, we wanna make sure is locate this. And we're gonna just run this to the top side of our board. And what we're gonna do is run it to the top header like you see here, or wherever you have a grommet, and plug it into the DLED2. This will actually power the actual case fan so they have actual color to them. So what we wanna do is make sure to line the actual port with actually the pins on the board in the right spot. So we have the tooth like this, and we're just gonna plug this on into our actual header here. And it's gonna take a second, because usually this one's tricky, but if you get it, most of them's around, is usually a one-time slip in. Next up, if you have a fan hub, you might have like a little fan header that go with it or like another fan plug. So we're gonna take this actual fan header for this actual fan hub and plug it into one of our system fan spots. So usually what this would do, I would actually run it to actually the system fan header, which would be right here. And you can actually tell it because it'll say system fan one, which is right there. But the problem with this one is because the cable's so short, I actually need to plug it into where the CPU actual cooler system fan is. So we're just gonna plug the CPU fan and move this actually to the system fan. That way we can actually run our cable into our actual uh, fan header up top. Now the rules are the same for the actually the CPU fan. You make sure they have this tooth, which you can see that's actually on the top here, and match that tooth with the actual motherboard. And we're gonna match these three pins. There's only three pins, we won't need to use the fourth, and just line up that tooth. With that, our fan hub is installed, or any system fans that you might need to set up, you can just plug them like that. Now we're almost finished with our motherboard. We're actually getting to the last four big steps. So first of all, we gotta make sure to plug in our actual reset switch, our LED light for our hard drive, and some other stuff. So this is the most important thing you need to make sure to plug in. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run these guys actually from the actual side grommet here because we need to plug them down below here in a certain pattern. Something to keep in mind, if you do have a fan hub, sometimes they might use your uh, reset switch for actually the fan hub. So you're gonna see right here, I have this. So if I was actually have this, I need to make sure I have this plugged in 
So that way I can actually use my RGB fans to reset them and stuff with the actual reset switch. However, um, if you don't actually have a fan hub like I have here with the system reset switch, you don't need to plug this on in, and we're gonna actually run that the spot I was talking about earlier. That is just something important to keep in mind. So this is where I'm gonna tell you, make sure you have your motherboard manual on hand, because sometimes you might actually have, instead of multiple of these, you might have just one big one you plug in all together. If you don't, then you just have multiple individual ones, but make sure to have it just in case. Of course, there's gonna be positives and negatives, which you can actually see on these actual fan headers. And you wanna match them with the positive and negatives actually on the board. So you can see there's some positive and negative symbols, and you wanna make sure they have the headers pointed with the positive and negative symbols on the actual plugs. You can actually see some different indicators, like our reset is for the reset switch, one is for the power switch, and of course, like HD is for the hard drive, and then LEDs and stuff like that. So we wanna make sure they actually line these on up. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually the reset switch. Now, you saw the reset switch earlier, we want to make sure they have the logo with the actual text pointed towards us or the top of the board. So we're just going to be using towards us. We're just going to make sure to plug that into the proper spot, which you can see here. It's this one, that one. And of course, it's going to be a little bit tricky because these are pens are really annoying to deal with. And what you got to do is make sure to line up the right way. Once you got that, you can just push it on in and you're good to go for your actual reset switch, which you can see I plugged in mine. And you can see how it's actually lined up with the actual board. So now we're doing is actually the power switch. Now it's the same rule for the power switch. Make sure the actual text is pointed towards upwards of the board. You want to actually line that right above the actual power switch actual cable. So what we're going to do is, uh, or not reset, uh, power switch, reset cable. And we're just going to push that on in there. With that, our reset switch and also our button is actually good to go. Next up, we got our LEDs for actually our hard drives. And we also got the actual hard drive LED. So make sure for this one, you would have this actually pointed towards the extra positive and negative. So for this one for the HD LEDs, we make sure that this pointed towards the bottom board of the text. So we're gonna take that, we're just gonna line that on our board. And if I can ever show that it, we're gonna slightly push it in, like you guys can see here. Then I have the two pins pointed towards the bottom and we're just gonna push that on in with pressure. So we need to take the power for LED minus, plug that into the minus side, which is the right pin. So we're just gonna push that on in. And then there's one pin slot you can see still open. And we're gonna take that positive pin and actually plug that on in next. And that way our actual reset uh, switch and also power switch and HD hard drive LEDs and power things are all good to go. And this is just something to keep in mind and make sure to look at your manual just in case if it's different from mine. Next up, we gotta get into our 24 pin. Now make sure to have this plugged in because this is actually gonna power your motherboard. What you're gonna do is run this cable into one of your side grommets here. So I'm gonna just run it for like the top one. Now you're gonna see there's two different pins. There's one pin on this side, and there's one pin on the back side. This middle pin, this one big one, you wanna make sure it's pointed towards the opposite side of the board. So that way you can see like the big pin's not facing towards us, it's facing to the back side. And we wanna plug this on in. And you'll know this is working too because it'll just slip on in and then you just put pressure. With that, your 24 pin is going to power your board. You're good to go there. Next up is your CPU power connector. So you make sure to find this eight pin on your board. Now, of course, you'll say CPU on it. You wanna make sure that it says that. And you wanna run it actually towards the top side of your board right here. My cats are kind of making a ruckus in the background and you should be able to slip this on in. So what we're gonna do is take the cable we ran for the CPU and put it to the top left of our board where the actual eight pin is for our CPU power. Now, sometimes you might have another one beside it for like another eight pin. And that's usually for overclocking, but since we're not overclocking our CPU at all, we only need uh, eight pins. And my cat's just still making ruckus. And we're just gonna take this clip right here, make sure it's pointed towards the top. And that way we can plug in our actual CPU uh, power. And this one's always a hassle to do. Uh, so it's like the most annoying thing to do in the long run. So if you have something in the way, just make sure to get it out of there. With that though, you hear a clip, you're good to go. What you doing, Zeke? You being sus? I hear you making a ruckus, bro. And like, what are you doing, dude? With that though, our motherboard is all set up. The only thing we need to do now is our drives. Now, something to keep in mind about drives, depending on what type of drive you have, you have a hard drive here, which is a 3.5, that's the size. And this is a 2.5 size, but it's an SSD. Most things around the connectors will be the same. You'll have a uh, power cable for actually the hard drive and a SATA uh, cable for transferring data to the motherboard. It's the exact same thing for actually a hard drive, which you can see power cable from the power supply, SATA for actually data. Now what you wanna do is find your SATA cable, which you can tell with the actual clips like this, this is how it looks. And this is actually really simple to install. So what we wanna do is depending on whatever drive we have, we wanna make sure they actually line up that little hook, which you can see there's a hook on the left side with actually the hook on the actual uh, socket. So you can see hooks pointed on the left side. So we're just lining this on up here. So we're just gonna take our SATA cable, make sure to line up the hook, which you can see here, and we're just gonna plug that on in to our actual uh, SSD. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for me because I'm really one-handed right now. Now for the opposite end of that SATA cable we plugged into our SSD, we wanna actually run this into one of the grommets on your PC case. So we're just gonna run into 
one of the lower ones here. And what you'll see is you have these ports right here. These are the SATA ports and usually the indicators, so these are like SATA 3. And depending on this, sometimes they'll be like pointing straight up towards us or they'll probably be pointing toward the side. So just keep in mind, depending on your motherboard, always check the manual if you just don't see them like mine. That way you don't get confused and plug in the wrong thing because that could be problematic. And we're just gonna take it, make sure to line up that hook with the actual hook here. So we have it faced it towards the bottom side. And we're just gonna push that on in and you should hear clip. With that though, our actual SSD installed and then it'd be the exact same process for our actual hard drive for SATA. But now what we need to do is actually plug in the power cable. So what you're gonna do is go to your power supply, find actually one of the connectors, that's not it. So what you're looking for is the actual power for your SATA cable, which you can see right here, we actually have this and we wanna just line up the hook, which you can see the hook on the left side here with the hook on the actual uh, SATA port, which you can see is on the right side. Take that like so, line it on up, and then we're gonna just slip it on in like that. With a little bit of force, tough most times around, and with that, our SATA and power is all good to go for our SSD, and then you just do the same rule for the hard drive. Now, something to keep in mind, if you do have a fan hub on actually your motherboard or your case, you wanna make sure to actually plug in the actual power for this thing. So you can see it's using the same power as our SATA, for our SSD or hard drive, and you can really just follow the same rules to actually plug it on in so that way you can power your fan hub. Now the next thing we do is power our GPU. So depending on how many pins you have on your GPU you have, so like we're gonna use a GPU with only a, a eight pin. So we're gonna use only one of the eight pin PCIe's, which actually you can tell by the actual logo on the actual uh, side here, or it's on the top. But you wanna plug on the eight pin into your actual GPU. Now some GPUs, depending on like what they are, like what is it, 2080s, the 3080s, have more than just eight pins. So you might have uh, another eight pin to making it 12 pin to even 16 pins at a time. So just make sure to find as many uh, pins as you need. And so for example here, we only need one. So we're gonna take one of these eight pins and plug it in. But if you do have more, then you might need to actually plug in another one with it or a second one. And what you can see right here, since this GPU only has one eight pin header, we only need to plug in one of them. And of course, we just take whichever one that plugs in and we just wanna make sure you line the clip on the top with the top of the GPU, so it's good to go. And then push that in, and you should hear clip. And if you don't, then it's just good to go. Most times around, you'll usually hear clip and you, or you'll feel like it click at the same time. So depending on the ladder, you'll see your result. With that though, everything on our PC is good to go. So we should be able to just boot it up with no problems. Now keep in mind, I don't have any RAM installed right now. So let me just quickly do that before I completely forget. So if you have everything plugged into your motherboard correctly and all your cables plugged into each of the PC components correctly, all you have to do is do the following, is power your power supply. Click the power button on top and everything just works. You should just see it powered on like so and you should see it post. So that's how you plug in all your cables into your PC for a beginner. If you guys did find this video helpful, then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to help me some future tech content. I'll see you guys for another one. Tech Grant, out. Have a great day.